Roman Pavlichenko was a Russian striker who made a name for himself both in his home country and abroad. Pavlichenko had a long and successful career, which saw him play for some of the biggest teams in Russia and England. But who exactly is Roman Pavlichenko, and what makes him such an interesting player to talk about? Let's find out. Roman was born in the village of Mostovskoy. In an interview for the Daily Mail, Roman reminisces about the moment he received his first ever pair of football boots as a young child, aged around 7 or 8. Growing up in a modest household, where such luxuries were rare, he treasured his first Adidas boots and proudly wore them everywhere, even on the streets. Despite his love for the sport, his parents couldn't afford to provide him with the necessary equipment, leaving him with limited resources. He attended a sports school which had a severe shortage of equipment. No balls, no uniforms, and not even a decent playing field available. Roman's football journey began humbly in Cherkasy, where he played at the local level, but his love for the sport only grew stronger as he joined Victory Sports School, where he dedicated seven years of his life to sharpen his skills. At the age of 18, Pavlichenko began his professional football career at Dynamo Stavropol, where he made 31 appearances and scored 11 goals in his first season. He then moved to Rotor Volgograd in 2000, where he had a rocky start receiving a red card for punching an opponent in the face during his debut match. However, he persevered, and after 78 appearances and 17 goals for Rotor, he joined Spartak Moscow, one of the biggest football clubs in Russia. Pavlichenko's career flourished in Spartak. In the first three seasons, the Russian player scored 31 goals, but his fourth season was a memorable one. He became the first player in the club's history to finish as the league's top scorer, netting an impressive 18 goals. This achievement also marked the first time in the history of Spartak that a player had become the tournament's top scorer since the creation of the Russian Federation in 1992. Despite the team's close bid for the league's title, they were unable to clinch it, so they finished second to CSKA Moscow with the same number of points but with a lower goal difference. During his time in Spartak, Pavlichenko was a true goal-scoring machine, terrorizing opposition defenders with an impressive 69 goals in just 141 games. He was the club's most lethal weapon and his commitment to the team's emblem endeared him to the army of red and white fans who revered him as a hero on and off the pitch. In September 2008, Tottenham Hotspur broke the bank to sign the Russian striker for a fee of 13.7 million pounds. His debut against Aston Villa was eagerly anticipated, but it was his first goal in the League's Cup against Newcastle United that set the tone for what was to come. However, it wasn't always plain sailing for the enigmatic striker, as demonstrated by his infamous walk-off during the match against Manchester City which saw him storm down the tunnel in frustration and earn criticism from manager Harry Redknapp. In a hilarious anecdote shared in an interview, Harry Redknapp recalled his first encounter with Roman, mentioning his incredible skills and the ability to score amazing goals, but also his laid-back attitude. One particular story that stuck with Harry Redknapp was the first practice game he had with the team. Harry kept shouting at the Pelichenko to make runs, but the striker seemed uninterested and was barely moving around the pitch. Frustrated, Harry continued to yell at him, but then noticed a man in a tracksuit running onto the pitch. Harry asked one of his colleagues who the man was and was surprised to learn that that was Pavlichenko's interpreter. He was shocked that the interpreter was running about more than Pavlichenko himself. In his 2013 autobiography, Always Managing, Redknapp offered a unique and candid insight into Roman's performances. While he was full of praise for Pavlichenko's abilities on the pitch, he also highlighted a challenging inconsistency in his performances. Redknapp believed that the striker was capable of being an unstoppable force at home games, but then, in the next away game, he could fade into the background. The frustrating part was that the fans failed to see this discrepancy and continued to worship Superpav, making it difficult for Redknapp to make tough decisions about the team selection. 
and the striker's unpredictable form meant that Red Depp was hesitant to name him among the substitutes, fearing that the fans would begin to chant his name if the game wasn't going well, putting even more pressure on the other players. This unique insight into the pressures and complexities of managing a team sheds light on the struggles of a manager trying to balance the expectations of the fans with the realities of the game. Roman also had his fair share of wild adventures in the past, often indulging in excessive drinking. He once confessed to getting so drunk after a game that he got lost, and that his teammates had to go look for him. While opinions may vary on Pavlichenko's tenure at Tottenham, his goals undoubtedly showcased his impressive skills, with many of them being crucial to the team's success. His record of 42 goals in 113 appearances is a testament to his ability on the field. Superpav played for several Russian football clubs afterwards, including Lokomotiv Moscow, Cuban, Ural, and FC Ararat Moscow. Despite his previous success, his career took a downturn, and he ended up playing amateur football in 2018. However, he eventually returned to play for Znamya Nogensk, and the team was promoted to the Russian Professional Football League for the 2021 season. In October of 22, he was sent off and subsequently banned for eight games by the Russian Football Union after fighting and swearing at an opponent. As a result, Pavlichenko announced his retirement from playing. Overall, Pavlichenko's career is a testament to the ups and downs that come with any pursuit. In a recent interview with Sports.ru, the 40-year-old striker expressed his decision to retire from the sport, citing the challenges of keeping up with the younger players in the second division. Roman also acknowledged that the physical demands of the sport were becoming increasingly difficult to sustain, and that he no longer wished to subject himself to such stress. Hey guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, please like and subscribe for more interesting sports stories.